Afro-American, a minority, underprivileged, undereducated, underclass, Muslim, Hebrew, Israelite, a Christian. All of the derogatory terminologies that we in our state of spiritual amnesia have come to claim as our own identities, terminologies, substituted for our rightful classifications as the dark matter father and mother of civilization. The cradle of civilization, astronomer, astrologer, scientist, doctor, alchemist. Hmm? But you're a Christian now. You're no longer a mason, a sculptor, a scribe, a botanist, an agriculturist, a geologist, an architect, a psychologist, a warrior, a Kemite, Kushite, Ashanti, Dravidian, Olmec, Mayan, Moor, Twi, Bantu, Zulu, Yamakra, Yamasi, Creek, Seminole, Sumerian, Atlantean, Lemurian. See, beloved brothers and sisters, today religious minded Africans and indigenous peoples, both here and on the continent, have a genuine, deep seated paranoid schizophrenia of actually being a soul. Did you hear all that? And at my birthday, 526, he says his people have a problem with all that. I don't, because I know I am all of these things. No. Let's listen and get to another part of my birthday. Seated with the above descriptions of our ancestors. None of y'all want to say that you're African. None of all y'all want to say that you're from there. Kemite, you're Egyptian? No, the Egyptians held us. They held the Jews in slavery. They even got black people in the Hebrew Israelites really believe the Egyptians did that. Okay, I'm a Hebrew Israelite and... I gave up my belief system and I also found out that when the Hebrews had were being held in slavery, it was not the Hamites, the Egyptians, that held them in slavery. It was the pink people, the Jews, those that the Hamites went and took out of the caves that my folk put in the caves. There was an Egyptian that went and took them out of the caves. And when he took the Egyptians out of the caves, when, when the Egyptian went and took them out of the caves and brought them back to Egypt, he began, they began to teach them what the Egyptians called civilization or civilized people. Not civilization, but civilized people. They were civilizing these people, but the Egyptians could not actually be a civil civilized anyone because they are not the civilizer. Because the Egyptians were all gay, and that's another story. So let's get into what I was talking about. So now the cavemen, the Neanderthal people, they learned how to read the Egyptian way of reading. However, it was back then, they had access to the libraries and everything. When they Generations passed by, and um, the Neanderthals could think and learn very, very well. However, they were a crooked type people. Anyway, so many generations passed, and the Neanderthals went into the libraries, and they found that the reason that they were dying off the way that they were dying off is because they are missing some strands of DNA whereas they rot from the inside out and I have seen and heard uh, and I know people, females who their insides begin to rot and they had to go and get them taken out and they were like the fourth or fifth generation in a generation it's not my mom, me, my children, and my grandchildren and great grandchildren all all together as a generation. No, a generation is 51.4 years. So you take 51.4 and you time that by four to five generations, you will see how long that they can live. And they actually did start to die out. And not only did they start to die out, they were dying out in the caves. And my folk knew that they will die out. However, someone always goes and opens the closet door and lets the evil out. And then the Egyptian did that. So it, the, the Bible is 
written in code. It was left there by my people and they don't care what anyone says. I am that I am. And no one can tell me that I am not. And I am a heap is a light. As he gets to speaking in this video, he even says that Israelite is like her DNA. So if Israelite is like my DNA, then the entire Israelite, not an Israeli, but an Israelite. And um, he, so, so he says that the Jews are matter. And as I said, the Bible, for me, it is a blueprint that my ancestors left here for me. It's a blueprint for me. I thought it was a blueprint for all of us. However, I don't know today. I do know that it is a blueprint for me. Now, when he says that the pink people, because that is the Jew today, because there was never a, a letter K in the Hebrew alabase, and it's still not as today. And this is why I say, how can I not be a Hebrew Israelite when Hebrew is a language? It is the first language. It is um, Israel. It has a land. And I am also equate myself to being a Moor, and that's what he said he is. He said he is a Moor. However, where is more land? And where is more language? And where is more writing? Hmm. And if the Jews or matter, and they know what matter means because M-A-T has something to do with Mayat. And Mayat means mother. It's actually when you get into mayat and everything, it actually means mother of the mind. Hard mother of the mind at that. See right here? Mother. In this matter. M A T E O. And mayat. Um, I think it's M A T A. However, if you take. See, matter. This is the root word. And well, this is a word that is in mayat, and I think mayat is in a t a. And uh, the word eight, huh? <laughs> and eighter. I want to focus these two. M a. In the Hebrew language, mother is e ma. So you will take this e and put it in front. It will be e m. A with an H at the end. So I can go down here where they have now changed it to an English language. And I will take Mata and get that H from Mother because it means the same as Mata, Mother, and put it with. The uh, matter up here, M A T, and when it says Middle English, but you know I'm talking about the M A T E, and put that H there, and move them around, and I get Ima, a Hebrew language. I am a Hebrew, and once they came in and took everything from me, Florida did in 2003, around 2004, 2005. Uh, well, they ran me out July 2004, and I came back here to San Diego. But somewhere in between that time and 2005, I guess, may have been 2004, I went to the library. I started going to the library a lot here because, you know, they had took, I had two machines and they took everything I had. So I started going to the library and I started getting books on the Hebrew language and went to research what um, Ima meant. And it and I had it, but you know they took those books. They kept taking things from me after that, so they took those books again. And um, in that book, it said that Ima 
meant a female who has had her children in captivity and now she is exiled and her children are still in captivity and I said well because I am an Ema. Now, when you're going to deeper things, because they did say the mother and all that. So, then it says, Dora Mata. Tough outer membranes around the brain. Dora Mata, Sibria, like the Sibrio, the Cer Cerebrio, like, you know, your mind, literally, hard mother of the brain. Now, he said that the Jews are matter. Hmm. Is there another matter like it matters? Hmm. No. This is a matter, I know. But maybe there is another matter. I'll cut this off and go and see. No, just come with me. Let's see if there is another type of matter. Because sometimes there could be. Because English language is so fucked up, it's M-E-T-R-E, -E, and I would not know how to pronounce this word, because matter, meter, meter, that's meter, duh, I don't know how to pronounce the word, but not this, meter, like smart meter, M-E-T-E-R, okay, so, he did not mean that one, so, he had to have meant this matter, M-A-T-E-R, thick mother, see, Big mother of the brain. And in Arabic, the words father, mother, and son are often used to denote relationships between things. Hmm. However, when he said that, it took me back to Inky. And how Inky extracted DNA and came up with these this this non millionaire man. That was to bring about all the evil. And this is why some people call Inky the devil. Like the evil. Yeah. So he says that the Jews are matter. Okay, so you can go through this one and you can go through this. Uh, okay, I guess I went back so you can go through this one and, um, and we will have the matter this matter by itself, which still will take us into mother translations, words, origin, and more definitions. It's kind of unknown. My English is at the top and I do not have to go on the floor. So I'm really in English, I guess. Anyways. This matter is going to equal mother. Hmm. All my matter. Online etymology dictionary. It's the bot matter. It's about type of matter. And it still has something to do with mother because of this word, M-A-T. And it says a title, Romans gave to goddesses, C-I-A, series, bell, feminine, United States, see how they keep their words, nourishing from, to nourish. Means to nourish because it is mother, matter. So... Did Dr. Valentine not know that what matter meant? Or in some ways he telling us that they were formed from us and they are like you know, like be when we were light beings. You know what I'm saying? Um like before we became flesh, are they saying, is he saying 
that is what is we are made from or something I don't know I know but a lot of times I say I don't know and I do know it's just I don't know how to explain it and then I can't get anyone else to get into these videos with me so that I can have help with explaining certain things um, like he says, the Bible is not actually real. Hmm, 58 seconds. Um, and it is for me. And he says that if I am saying I am a Hebrew Israelite, then I am not. And then he says that Hebrew Israelites uh, believe that the Egyptians are the ones that had us in slavery. And I, as I said, I gave up my belief system, so... I know that it was not the Hamite Egyptians who had us in slavery, that it was the unmelanated man who had us in slavery. And um, I was kind of taught, I was taught this kind of stuff when I was in high school. Um, we I went to um, a different type of high school than the other high schools and we had um I went to alternative high school where they pay you to go to school. I went to that high school and we had college um instructors as would come and instruct us and one of the teachers, one of the instructors, he gave us the information on the Egyptians and the Neanderthals and um and Ford and you know and how Ford built up his kingdom and stuff like that you know and I really meant remember that and carried it all that throughout my whole life and when I hit the internet people began to speak of Mayat and I remember even more from high school days so yeah it's here what he's saying now is that and then I know I keep repeating it because it's kind of confusing, but let's go back and see what he says after that. Sometimes I could be confused because I don't listen, and sometimes I am the fool in the Bible. Sometimes I will answer a matter before I hear it, and I know once I hear the matter, I have been a fool. When you look at their books, the Jews have always been in bondage because Jews, quote-unquote, in the Bible never existed. The Jew is simply matter. See, a Jew is simply matter. Can you see that? Make it so it can be seen. 558, my birthday. Now he said the Jews have always been in bondage, but the Bible is not real. I'm going to cut this short because it is 1826. So I'm going to come back and show you what the Jews say about them being in slavery. Because the Jews have never, ever been in slavery, but they were the Egyptians that held the Hebrews in slavery for 400 years. Whether they did it back in Egypt or whether they did it here in America today, we have still been held in bondage for 400 years and over 400 years. The next one I would do, I'm going to title it the Bible. <laughs> 